Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Call of Juarez, Gunslinger. This is part 10 and, well, we're finding ourselves at the swamps, um, trying to deal with the Dalton brothers for the third time. <laughs> um, apparently the first two weren't entirely accurate, um, so... And um, they apparently are hiding somewhere around these parts, so I guess we'll see if we can deal with them. Oh. Black Bart. Charles Earl's Charles Earl Bowles, better known as Black Bart, was undoubtedly amongst among the Wild West's most unusual stagecoach robbers. British by birth, Black Bart was a polite man known for his manners and refined taste. But it's difficult to believe that such a gentleman bandit really operated in California and Oregon in the eighteen seventies and eighties. Legend has it that on the on the least on at least two occasions he left handwritten poems at the scene of the crime. This one is from eighteen seventy seven. I've labored long and hard for bread, for honor and for riches, but one but on my corns too long you've tread, you fine haired sons of bitches. Ah <laughs> oh, Jesus Okay, that's Pretty funny, actually. <laughs> oh. oh, Black Bart. How can one stay mad at you for robbing some stagecoaches when you leave such beautiful poetry behind? Oh, can we get Oh! Oh! I keep messing those up. Except for some some bitches ahead of me wanting to do me harm, so I had to face them alone. Okay, sounds like I it wondered there. why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. Turns out they were. Huh. Okay. Oh. So did you find the Daltons? Not yet. But I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. <sighs> Almost out of ammo. Reload. had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. <laughs> manner of riffraff. Okay, some ammo. And a shotgun. Not really doing that well. And they love to throw dynamite, apparently. Point B and I was under serious attack. Oh. My Shotgunner. Is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I shall try. 
Oh. up top to get a better view okay fair enough okay um okay but just ended up falling inside <laughs> so how did you get out the barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Not sure. Steve? <laughs> so I just started walking. And pretty soon, it... oh. <laughs> Steve, Steve, uh, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. Indians surrounded me from all sides. Indians. Indians? No. I just <laughs> wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. Now, where was I? You were following the Daltons through a swamp? That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, oh, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, where was I? The Daltons. Right. Oh. See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond like no other. All right. What now? Some ammo and... Even more ammo and... I think that's it. Ammo. Oh. Ouch. Okay. Well, don't shoot that one. So, where am I supposed to go? Not yet, but I did find a few of their cousins. Oh, Kansans breed like rabbits. More smiths oh, oh, or time right. hoppers or who knows what. Did not see but that hell, dynamite. What's more important than family? I bet Ben knows what I'm talking about. Oh. 
Nice. Oh. Well, looks like we've... You've made the right place to stage an ambush because... Plenty of coffins left for you. Okay, how oh, did I miss him? Ow. Where is he? Oh, that's one. that seem to be leaving nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I kinda knew, but thought there might be secret stuff. You know. Found one nugget so far. This place leads me to believe there might be a lot more, but Okay, perhaps in here. Well, some ammo. That I don't need. Oh. 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 Okay, this is not a good place for me to be. Is he? Hmm, someone shooting from over there, but can't see him. Okay, that's a tree. Don't shoot that. Dynamite, but I knew those Dalton boys were out there somewhere, standing together against anyone who would threaten them. Oh, 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 oh. Swamp. Hmm. 
That's when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. A steamboat? In a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Guess it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheeler? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. It was in that a fusillade of bullets come raining down from on high. And those vigilantes who would company me weren't anywhere to be found. Oh. But among those men that were shooting at me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. I think. Hmm, wondering if that's Gatling gun. That's it for you. Okay, grab some ammo. Oh! Shoot them. Nice. Reload. Okay, I guess we are heading on board. Oh! Up here, perhaps. Right there. Oh, oh. Cool. Old West Steamboats. While the founding fathers of the United States were writing the Declaration of Independence in 1776, over in France, the first successful steamboat was completed. In the United States, the first steam-powered boat was built by John Fitch in 1787. By the first half of the 19th century, American rivers were teeming with steamships. It was a blessing for the economy. River transport was much faster and cheaper than any kind of transportation. Numerous ports and shipyards appeared. The ships themselves needed maintenance and dock workers, and all that meant new jobs. Of course, early steamboats were far from perfect. Many sunk for any number of reasons. <laughs> okay. Boiler explosion and fires. Explosions and fires were common causes of accidents. Between 1811 and 1899, 567 steamboats were lost in the United States. Wow, so... That's... A lot of steamboats per year. Jesus. Okay. Huh. But um, I guess we're gonna have a closer look at, um, at the steamboat and, uh, well... Um, guess level up, but um, that's gonna be next time. So, yeah, that's um, that's gonna be the end of this episode. But um, thank you a lot for watching, and um, hope to see you again very soon.